Hey guys, this is what I'm attempting to print. It's a uh, video game cocktail sticks. So I have no idea what I'm doing. I just simply grabbed, well, I downloaded the file and saved it to this little SD micro card that it came with. And also I loaded the program beforehand, the uh, Cura program, Cura, Cura, whatever. And by default, the sticks were exceeding the platform area so I just simply changed the access on there to reduce the size and I simply hit file saved it as a G code popped it onto the SD card I'm going to place this into the uh, printer and see what happens so we're gonna see if we can take those cocktail sticks print it out and then my next goal is to take this design and simply make some small edits and modifications and kind of figure it out as I go so let's see what happens Alright guys, the first thing you want to do is set your temperature. Printing temperature is 210. Bed temperature is 70, so 210 and 70. And I don't know, maybe by default it'll grab that information off the G code and set it. I don't know. This is only my second print. I printed the default cat G code that it came with. Had a few issues with there. I wish I would have recorded that video as far as troubleshooting the fulfillment filament. Um, I actually took this out of here. It kind of runs by itself. That way I can get access to the filament. So we have 210 and the bed is going to be at 70. As you see it heats up fairly quick. Honestly when I printed the uh, default cat code, G code file, doesn't like to come off to the platform, so I'm not sure if there's an easier way. I mean, I try scraping and scraping, and but I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out. So it looks like we're pretty much at our extruder target temperature. I'm just going to simply select print since we moved the file over, and I'm hoping it's going to show up there. There it is. Video game cocktail stick. And print. And... Are you going to do anything? Oh. So I see, I didn't have to set it. So it automatically grabs the information from that file. So the Cocktail Sticks assortment uh, G-code file automatically has those settings in there. That's what I was looking at over on the other computer. It says 210 for the uh, extruder and for the platform it's 70. So I'm hoping once this thing heats up to the uh, suggested target temperature, it'll start printing. I don't know. When I hit print before, it just started printing. Not now. Well guys, that didn't work. Never printed, never heated up to the suggested temperature. I'm not sure if that's what caused the conflict, but I'm trying something else. It's this little Street Fighter design that'll actually attach to the printer, so as it spins around, it'll show I'm doing the uh, Dugent. What's up that the Dugent? <laughs> but I'm hoping I set the default temperature within a program to zero so I can preset it myself. So I set this one to 210 and I set this one to 60. See the problem is here the platform doesn't heat up to 70 degrees. Maybe that particular model was for a different 3D printer. I don't know. But I have it set to zero within a program which allows me to do the preset. So as soon as I hit uh, 210 there I'm going to go ahead and print the G code file that I moved over. I'm gonna go ahead to the print option. I know we're kind of close to it now, but maybe I'm being a little impatient. And there was two files. There was one for the base, which is gonna to attach to this guy here. And then of course there was a fighter. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I figured why print them separately. I just put them on the same thing. Uh, just put a little space in between the design that was on the uh, program there and save them both under base G code. So I'm gonna see if they print. Looks like we got some action, so that's a good sign. And this will be a good thing to know that if you can put multiple prints on one design. When you opened up the program, there was two uh, files to choose from. One was just a base, and the other was the actual fighter itself. So what I did is I opened them both within the same program and dragged the fighter over here, and I figured let me just do it all in one go and see if it'll print that way. I don't know. That could be a bad thing. but. We won't know until we try. So I'm going to print both of these and drop this guy in there and put them on top of the printer and see what happens. Looks like we're doing something.
What's up, Tato Hogan? Hogan? Well, guys, for the most part, I mean, it's fairly simple, fairly easy. I mean, I just simply went to um, the website, downloaded a file that I wanted, popped it on there, hit print, it came out perfect. So, I mean, it's not that difficult to learn. Here's the base stand right here. Let's see if we can get this guy off. That's one of the things I have to figure out too. Is it better to pull it off right when the printing is done? Is it gonna be easier that way? Because as you can see right now, I'm having a little slight difficulty getting it off and maybe there's a better way, I don't know. It almost seems like it'll break. I mean, I only had the one print, the cat print from yesterday. My very, very first print was the cat G code file, but I ran out of filament, that's all that it came with, so I wasn't able to complete it. I bought this spool and two other spools off of eBay. Very cheap. I think it was only 13, 14 bucks. Yeah, there has to be an easier way. So as you see, I struggle with getting it off because I don't want to break what I just printed. Therefore, I'm thinking maybe a hot pull once it's done. Maybe this base is still a little warm. I don't know. I really don't know. There, got it. See, so we got it. So the the good. So we got the little man, little base stand right there. He just simply plugs in there. My wife was asking me why I made him purple. Well, that's all the filament we have for now. So I think I'm gonna take him out to the garage and paint him gold. That'll be a good thing to see how easy it is to paint over the filament. His new home. And it should be a perfect fit. And let's see him in action. So as your machine is printing, your Street Fighter should start moving. So I'm just going to take him outside and put a little paint on him. Paint! Got a paint! Got a paint! Okay, so I got it set up out here. I just took this little plug. This is all burnt up. We had our vending machine out here in the garage, plugged into it. We used to have a little gaming setup outside, but the plug is no good. So I simply posted it up there just to get it mounted. But I'm just gonna paint it now. I'm gonna use a metallic finish, that's the color. Let that dry and I'll give it another coat. It's all good minus that little line that's right there, but I'll pull that guy off. My wife's working on a little project out here too. That's what we do, DIY. Yeah, it's looking good. Like I said, minus that little line that's right there. Other than that, it's really great.